Hey friends, welcome back. Today we are going to learn something very quickly that's about the math function supported in Tabla. Tabla gives you an extensive range of math function support and we are going to learn that right now. Tabla gives you support for ABS, div, power, uh, square root, square, min, max, sine, cos, tan, a cos, a sine, a tan, uh, ln and log. All these are supported and it's very simple for you to use. We will check few of them to see if we really get it uh, done. So I'm going to uh, use an Excel sheet which is nothing but the data that I uh, use for understanding how things work with Tabla. Let me open it. It has got three columns. I just created um, three columns out here and it has got the name, index and income. You can see that it's got some negative values as well. Purposefully it is included. It has got income uh, which is all perfect positive values and it has got a field where the name is also available. Now I'm going to connect this. I'm going to export this to Tabla first. By now I hope you should be familiar with this process and it's pretty easy for anybody to understand. So it's all done right now. And let me go ahead to the worksheet. Uh, let me get the chart available for us to visualize. I am taking income and index in the row and I am putting the name in the column. So you can see that the index has got negative values out here, minus 1, uh, minus 2, something like that. And it has also got some positive values which is highlighted. The income is all positive. Now what are we going to do? We are going to use the math functions and let us take first, we can go ahead with A cos. Maybe how do we test if A cos is working? Just go here. A cos, you can type A cos, open the bracket, and which field do you want to have A cos done for? Index is the field that I want. So I can type index, and that's all. It's done. Close the bracket. The moment you do that, you get the A cos values for the index field. I want to visualize it as a table. Yes, you get it immediately. You can see the A cos value for the respective index values that we have given here. No, this is not sufficient for me. I need to test more. I need to see if A sign or sign is working fine. Let me remove this A cos. Let me go ahead with the sign. Yes, I am. Simple sign and index. Now, if you could see, I need to close the bracket properly. Once it is given, I get the sign value reflected and we can go to the table format to visualize it quickly. So, index sign has come. Similarly, I can get the absolute value. The ABS values are also possible. Let me uh, get into that. Let me remove this sign. This is easy. This is very easy to try. Just add whatever you want. But only thing that you have to know is what is the way that we need to use it. So if you see that clearly here, for tan, you need to use TAN. For cos, it is COS. For sine, it is SIN. For absolute value, it is ABS. So let's see if ABS is working fine. ABS of index. So I need to go ahead with index and i'm done with it so let me see if in the table i could see that so you could see that the, the normal index value is here and the abs of the index value is also given here that's all it's very simple isn't it just give it a try and in case you have any questions you can ask me i'll be more than happy to answer and the supported math functions are listed here so you can try any of these and this is very easy if you try it out you will find out that it's very interesting if you have any questions please go ahead and type it in the comment section i'll be happy to answer thank you very much for following my channel content if you have any questions, type it in the comments. I'll answer. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Thank you.